Señor Dominic, mucho gusto. Bienvenido. Hola. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I know. I am your translator for tomorrow's meeting. Follow me. One day, this palace will be a museum. What kind of museum? Un museo de la revolución. Can you tell me what this meeting is about? Didn't anyone tell you? The revolution. And why you, Señor Dominique? Un americano. Apparently want to join the struggle. There are more of us who support your cause than you think. Si. Sí. But very few come to Cuba and risk their lives to fight dissidents. Especially ones with unusual business ties. The American embargo is hurting our people. We need to get our exports out. We need money. But most of all, we need a partner. Someone with access to boats, ports, and officials in the United States. That is why you are here. You will stay here tonight as a guest of El Presidente. Thank you. Your equipment will be secured until after the meeting. I will meet you in the morning. And please, do not wander at night. I hope you understand. Si. Buenas noches. Nobody fucks with me! Making a mistake. <laughs> Sí. Vente. Ten listos a tus hombres. Busca el palacio. Who did this? ¿Dónde está? 
El americano. No lo encuentro. Dominic, I know you did this. Come out. Maybe you're afraid because I'm a stranger. I'm Esteban Almeida. I'm like you, un mafioso. But I don't hide like a coward. This government understands men like us, what we can do for them. We keep them in power. Too bad for you I was here first. And I'm coming for you, Americano. I'm coming. Por aquí, aquí. I see it over there. I can get it. Drop it. to die. What's going on? El Presidente. The American tried to kill him. But Castro's alive? Si. God damn it, Dominic. Thank God. Dominic will pay for this. We will not be stopped, my friend. You're not 
thinking straight. Why can't we wait? It's Michael. We need to talk. Come to the compound. Now. Watch it. Don Corleone sounded serious. On the house, of course. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. Then tell me everything. Dominic, come in here. I warned you not to go against the Manganos. I thought, the both of us thought, the Mangano tried to have us killed. And you don't come to me? With the trial, it seemed best not to get you involved. So you turned to Roth. Fredo, whose idea was that? Mine. You know, my brother, Fredo, and I love you. But to go to Roth without telling me? You put yourself ahead of the family. You've never seen the big picture, Fredo. Now the Manganos are at war with us. This Cuban family. They muscle in, backed up by God knows who? Is there anything you can help me out with? Anything you can tell me now? It was Roth's plan to cross the Manganos. Roth's plan? I swear to God, I didn't know there'd be a war. He told me the Manganos were weak. That if I can get Dominic to help him out in Cuba, it'd be good for the family. Roth's back in the Almeidas. He's playing us. Said there'd be something in it for me. On my own. I've always taken care of you, Fredo. Taking care of me? How? Set Fredo off to do this. Set Fredo off to do that. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. Twice. It's the way Pop wanted it. Well, it ain't the way I wanted it. Fredo, you're nothing to me now. Not even a brother. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Mikey. I don't want anything to happen to him while Roth's alive. Michael, I'm sorry. I never wanted things to turn out like this. You made a mistake, Dominic. You're a Don. You have to know who you can trust. I know I have your loyalty, but it's like my father told me. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You're right. I just never thought that it'd be Fredo. Damn it. Listen, I can help. I want to make things right. Good. Look, the Senate investigation is moving forward. Geary's doing what he can, but I can't take any chances. Not with Frank Pentangeli on the witness stand. So I've arranged for a backup plan. What is it? I contacted a source in Sicily and found Frank's brother. His name is Vincenzo. He came here right away. He's a man of honor, a Don in his hometown. Vincenzo understands the importance of Omerta, something Frank has forgotten. What do you plan to do? Bring Vincenzo to the trial. Tom, I just found out about Vincenzo. I know. He's been very helpful. Vincenzo has been staying at your safe house here in New York. He finds it incredible that Frank would testify about this thing of ours. What's the next step? Meet with Vincenzo. Introduce yourself. He needs an escort to the hearing. I don't expect any trouble, but with Roth and the Almeidas working together, we have to be careful. And one more thing. I think the time is right for you to promote one of your captains to underboss. We need the extra leadership, 
especially now. And an underboss can also give you more support in battle. Make your choice carefully. It's an important one. Let's go get Vincenzo. We gotta get this Vincenzo guy before the trial starts. I know, That's why I know. I'll drive. Michael trusted me with this job. I can't let him down. Vincenzo's not here, and someone killed his bodyguard. I don't know, Chief. Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for someone. This man. Have you seen him? Sir, excuse me. I'm looking for this man. He looks familiar. Yeah, I seen that guy. He was arguing with two men at a cafe. I remember, they both had Italian accents. Pardon me, I'm looking for this guy. Vincenzo Pentangeli. Does he look familiar? He's the guy from across my alley. Heard him arguing with some people last night. Sounded like at least three men. I hope they don't Over here! Pardon me, have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo Pentangeli. That guy? Yeah, he got in a cab with these two Italian goombas. Said that he was going to the south side docks. Reading this pamphlet me in hey, trouble. I'm looking for the guy in this picture. Have you seen him? Yeah, saw him at my cafe. I remember these three guys were giving him a hard time. Could you take a look at this picture? I'm looking for this man, Vincenzo Pentangeli. I seen him. Saw him and three of his pervy friends going into that brothel. The, uh, Maison Rouge. Excuse me, but I'm looking for someone. Have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo. Ese es su amigo? Si, sí, lo vi en la Casa Roja con tres otros muchachos. A friend of mine is missing. This man. Have you seen him? Si. Sí, he lives in the apartment above mine. He's nice. Said buenas noches to me before he turned in last night. Where to?
about asking around. Let's see if anyone wants to join us. <laughs> Rob, what you gonna oh, do? you got it coming. Where are you hiding, Vincenzo? Tell me, and I might let you in. Okay, I'll talk. He's being held at a safe house nearby. He's still alive, but you'll have to hurry. I don't think you can take it. How come you don't work with the rest? Maybe it's because you want to work with the best. You want a soldier for your family, is that it? Well, you ain't gonna go wrong with me. I'm smart, I'm good in a fight, and I know when to keep my mouth shut. Really? So what do you want to know about me? What about your skills? What are you good at? I did a hitch in the Korean War as a medic. Plugging bullet holes in zero degree weather. After that, whatever you got, I can handle. I'll keep you in mind, but right now, I need someone different. I'm looking for someone good. Someone who's interested in making a little money. You need someone and you need the best. I do it all, Dominic. Anything you got for me, I'll do it. Seriously, throw me whatever you got. What do you got? What are you good at? I can pick the lock on anything this side of Fort Knox. I can prepare it, Won't be disappointed. You're good, but I need someone different. Right between the eyes! Steady, Captain! Cops are gone, Dominic. I can cut through Stay that. close, well, all right? Oh, Christ. You can handle it. This isn't happening. They're trying to hit our businesses, Dominic. tonight, if he's lucky. Are you all right? Tutte bene. Who... who are you? My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Michael Corleone. Michael? The trap? It is too late. My brother, Frank. We still have time. I'll take you there, but we have to hurry. Okay, take me there. I cannot allow Frank to do this. To break a murder is to burn in hell. Andiamo. Will everyone be seated? We have here today a witness who will testify to Michael Corleone's rule over a crime empire that controls all the gambling in this country. He can corroborate enough charges to recommend a count of perjury against Michael Corleone. Senator? Thank you, Mr. Pentangeli. 
Mr. Pentangeli, were you a member of the Corleone family? Did you serve under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I never know no Godfather. I got my own family, Senator. Mr. Pentangeli, you are contradicting a sworn statement. I ask you again, were you a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, I was in the, uh, in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago. We have an affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. The FBI guy promised me a deal, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael because that's what they wanted. And I kept saying, Michael Corleone did this, and uh, Michael, Michael Corleone did that. But it was all lies. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Senator! Senator! I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. Frank Pentangeli, that best. Can you imagine if you we didn't get here in time? When they Thank God you right did. Here. I could see it in him. Forever. Frank was going to talk, <laughs> but it's over now. And, and what the hell? Just like that, in front of everyone. I told you you would. I don't get you people. Congratulations, Michael. The plan worked. It's over. It's not over. Not yet. Pat, where's Henry Mitchell? I don't know. The CIA can't find him. I think he's turned, working for another family. Mitchell's like a bad penny. He'll turn up. You better hope he doesn't. And why not? Mitchell was working with Roth. Anything Roth knows, Mitchell knows. About us, about you. Christ, he could sell us out. Or what if he goes public about Cuba? What if he talks? He won't talk. I want him gone. I want them all gone. Michael. I mean it, Tom. Mitchell, the Almeidas, everyone. They'll keep coming for us, for our families. You've won. Do you have to wipe everyone out? I don't feel I have to wipe everyone out. Just my enemies, that's all. I'm leaving for Vegas soon, so I'll be brief. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. My family will always support you. Good. All of them, Dominic. Every family, every racket, every made man. And Henry Mitchell, too. He's probably a bigger threat than you realize. No. I know how dangerous he can be. Okay, Michael. Leave it to me. Thank you. This is a critical moment for you and for your family. What you do now will make history. Let's do this, Dominic. 